Welcome back to another video, my name is Asta and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your CVB chatbot into your Webflow website. There will be two different methods, one is as a direct page embed and one is as a web chat. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Awesome, so the first thing you're going to do is the direct iframe embed on the site. Now for that, I'm going to head on over first to our documentation and you can see here, it's literally underneath this video where it says to embed an iframe flow link, use the following structure. So we're going to go ahead and copy this right here. Now from here, what we're going to do is head on over to our page. I'm using this one right here. Open in WebPro. Perfect. And this is just a test page, just so you know. <laughs> um, from here, what we're going to do is I want to have, let's say, for example, a chat just below this. So the first thing we want to do is head on over to this little plus over here where it says add elements. And we're gonna get a section and just drag it right here. So drag and drop, perfectly. And then from there, we're gonna grab a container, drop the container in here. And then we're going to grab us a columns element, just like that. Awesome. Now for the right-hand section, I would like to have an image. So I'm gonna click on plus again and look for where it says image. And there's a few examples already here. So I'll just replace the image with this gentleman. Perfect. So now we've got the image down. Um, we need to change something with the padding, but for now, we'll just continue. From here is we will put an embed. So we're gonna press the plus again to add an element and we're gonna look for code embedded and drag it into this right here. Awesome. Now, this is where we're going to paste the code that we got from our official documentation. So again, copy this, turn over to Webflow and just paste it right here, just like that. Now, as you can see, it says your published flow link. Um, and that's what we need to do. We need to get a published flow link. For this, I'm gonna go over back to my account. This is my CVB account. I'm gonna hand over to flows. I'm gonna select the welcome message right here. I'm simply gonna click on the three dots next to it and get the link and click web chat. Close this and head on back over to Webflow. And right where it says your published flow link, I'm just going to paste right in, just like that. Now, there's another thing that we will need to do for the message history, but for now, we'll just continue with this. So I'll click on save. And as you can see, here it pops up. Now, I've already had a few tests with this. That's why you're seeing the messages here. But if you would like to have it a bit bigger, all you have to do is just double click on the element and look for height because right now the height is the issue. I'm going to move this to something like 179% and click save and close and there we go. Now for this, I'm going to click right here and just add a little bit of padding, uh, margin, just like that. Perfect. Now, what you want to do next is hit publish. Just like this, publish to select the domains. Watch as it prepares, okay? And then now we can preview it. Just click this one right here. And as you can see, the chat is here. Awesome. So when someone comes, they can just come directly here and send a message and like, hey, how's it going? There you go. Hey, I'm doing great, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Now, as you can see, it has the previous examples here. We don't want that. So what we'll do is we'll head back over to Webflow. We'll click on this element and we'll add something right after this, right after your reference. And it's gonna be LC equals zero. We're gonna click save and close. And hit publish. And I'm gonna head on over back to the site and just refresh. So right now, this before I refresh, you can see the past um, conversations. Once we refresh, that should not be an issue anymore. As you can see, it works perfectly. I'll just say here. There we go. Now, let me refresh the page one more time to see if it's gonna show us the history of what we just typed. And as you see, it works perfectly. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is the web chat widget. For that, I'm gonna head over to CVB. And right here where it says web chats, you can get there by clicking on the left-hand side menu, web chats. And it'll take you right to this page. And you'll just click on add. And this one I'm gonna name, go to web chat. Click continue. Now I'm going to name this one again, oh, web chat. And for the welcome message, I'll just have a normal welcome message. 
Now, very important, authorized websites. You have to add the domain of your website here, otherwise you will run into issues. Um, easily done, I send it over to the page, since this is the test domain. Most will select it like this. I like to select the entire thing, copy it, head on over, back to CVB, and paste it right in. And simply click on save. Amazing. So now we want to click the three dots next to the web chat we just created. And we want to get the code. The web chat code was copied. Click OK. Now we head back and over to Webflow. And we'll click the little hamburger menu on the top left hand corner right here and select site settings. From here, we're gonna go all the way down to where it says custom code and we'll look for footer code and make sure to paste it in right here. Now to avoid the previous conversations to show when you reload the page, right here after color, where you see color, those two little dots on top, you're gonna type a comma and you're gonna say load capital M messages and then the two dots and have it as false, just like that, and click save. Perfect. It says publish your site. And that's what exactly what we're going to do right now. I'm going to come here to publish and hit the publish button. Wait for this to complete. Done. Now we're going to head on back over to the site, this one right here, and we're going to refresh it. And as you can see, we have a little web chat at the bottom here. I'm going to click on it. There should be a brand new fresh chat. Just like that. So we can say, hey, yeah. And it'll respond with default reply, depending on where you have a default reply. If it is in settings, integrations, OpenAI chat GPT, which is the easiest way to do it. Or if you have it in settings, general default reply, and then select the flow that you would like to have as a default reply. So as you can see, this works amazingly. So we've got the web chat widget right here. And we have the embedded one right here. So the two different options. Let me just refresh this. Yes, perfect. Thank you so much for your time watching this video. I hope it was helpful and insightful. Now you know how to embed your web chat widget directly onto your Webflow page or have it as an embed, as an iframe. Um, all the resources will be down in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.